8.30. So excited to work out with everybody this morning. We are going to use an exercise band if you have one. Hi, Jackie. No worries if you don't. You can always skip it and just do what works for you. But let's hit it. My name is Jillian Sterner. We're going to do burrata this morning. We'll start with a bar warm up and then do a combination of bar, yoga, and functional movement in the Tabata format for burrata and end with a cool down and a three to five minute meditation to set the tone and have an amazing day. All right, let's hit this. Draw your feet together in first position. Imagine a string starting at your heels. Zip up your legs, up through your belly button, your chest, and the crown of your head. Squeeze your glutes. Draw your belly button in. You can feel your belly button scoop towards your spine as you engage your glutes and your heels together. Take a big inhale. Let's lift our shoulders up and exhale. Drag your shoulders down away from your ears. Hands on your hips. Start, we'll bring our feet together, squeeze our inner thighs, and then open up our feet. Squeeze your heels and you'll feel that booty engage. Together, apart. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Engage, engage. Good, eight more. Hello Monday. It's a gorgeous day, we're breathing. We're doing some self-care. Getting our endorphins going. Two. One. Hold your feet open. Take it up and down. Squeeze down. Pause at the top. Just for a moment. Engage those tiny little muscles. Create that muscle memory. That movement with intention. Four more. Then we'll double time. Two. One. Let's hit it. Up. Up. Up, up, squeeze, 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 up. Four, three, two, one. Now we plie, press down, open your knees, then come up, zip up those legs. Down, up, down, up, down, squeeze, down, up. Eight more, thank you. Good, four more of them, we'll pulse down. Two, one, pulse down. Down, squeeze those heels, drop your tailbone. We have the orchid man here this morning. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> four, three, two, one. Stay low, interlace your fingers, take your arms out, knees go back, 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 back. Squeeze, squeeze, back, back, four, two, one. Knees go in, in, squeeze, squeeze, good, eight. Four, two, one. Back to neutral, shoulders over your hips. Go side to side, stay low, engage those heels. Eight more. Four more. Last two. One. Back to the center. We're going to do hip circles. Take it all the way around and then tuck in the center. All the way around, tuck. Stay low. Engage your glutes. Use your breath. Inhale, then exhale in the center. Two more. Last one, other side. All the way around, tuck. Neutral, tuck. No duck butt in the back. No duck booty, keep it neutral and separate when you tuck in the center. Last two, last one. Good, inhale, draw one arm up. We're gonna take it down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Good, squeeze your heels. Now squeeze your booty right here. Down, down, up, up. Four more. Last two. And one. 
and release. Opposite arm comes up. Here we go, repeat. Down, down, up, up. Keep your heels engaged. Squeeze those heels. Good. Four more. Down, down, up, up. Last one. Now we're going to plie. Open your knees, then zip up your legs and releve. Alternate. Plie, releve. Squeeze your heels, squeeze your booty. Hello, booty. Getting stronger today. Come on, Monday. Warm it up. Last two, last one, and release. Now we roll through the feet. So you'll plie, then releve, lift your heels, come all the way up, squeeze and pause, release your feet to the floor. Plie, releve, up, down. Plie, releve, squeeze, down. Slow and control. Be intentional about your movement. Feel those tiny little muscles fire. Create more mind-body connection. Good. Four more. Last two. And one. And release, good. Take your left toe. Draw it in front of you, half circle back. Shift your weight to the back. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, squeeze and tuck. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Squeeze that booty. Draw your belly button in for four, two, one. Shift your weight to the center. Pulse down, down. Squeeze for eight. Four, two, one. Keep a micro bend in this knee. Shift forward. Square hips. Point your toe. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Hands come to prayer. Press your palms together. Wide fingers. Draw your shoulders down. Away from your ears. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Four more. Then we'll double time with that leg. Engage those palms. Two, one, take it up, up, squeeze, squeeze, good, eight, four, three, two, one, lift that leg, bend your knee, arabesque, pulse up, up, squeeze, squeeze, continue to engage those palms, activate your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, good, for four, three, Two, one, release. Draw that foot in front of you. You're gonna straighten this leg, or like your toe, sorry. Ooh. You're gonna face this toe forward so that it's not out in first anymore. Draw up for figure four. You can always use a chair or something to help stabilize you. Lift your toes in the standing leg. Draw your shoulders over your hips. Sit down a little bit deeper. Pulse down. Down, lift those toes. Good, eight, four, three, two, one. Stay low, tuck, release, tuck, release, squeeze. Good, squeeze this booty right here. Eight more, use your breath. Whoa, four more, if you lose your balance, Ain't no thing, jump right back in. Two, one, and release. Shake it out. Back to first, right toe forward, circle around, 180. Shift your weight to the back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, tuck, release, squeeze. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Four, two, one, shift your weight to the center. Pulse down, down, squeeze, squeeze. Good, eight. 
four, two, one. Stay with me, micro bend, hinge at the hips, point your back toe, lift and lower. Up, down, up, down. Exhale, inhale, squeeze, squeeze. Four more, then we'll double time. Two, one, take it up. Hop, up, squeeze, good, eight. Four, three, two, one, stay lifted, bend your knee, hips stay square, pulse up. Arabesque, squeeze that booty, come on, eight. Four, three, two, one, release. Bring that left foot straight and then come into a figure four. Try to find something you can focus on. So you can help with your balance. Shift your shoulders over your hips. Toes are lifted here. Heels down. Let's pulse down. Here we go. Down, down, squeeze, squeeze. Engage those palms. Four, three, two, one. Stay low. Hands on your hips. Tuck. Release. Tuck. Release. Good morning, booty. Get a lift today. Eight more. Good. Squeeze. Release. Four. Two. One. And release. Good. Shake it on out. Inhale, arms reach up. Zip up your arms from your elbow up through your pinky. Take an inhale, lift your shoulders up. Exhale, draw your shoulders down. Lift up on the balls of your feet. And then, if you can, keep your heels lifted. You can always drop them if it's too much. You're gonna have a seat in Drinking Bird or chair. And then from here, drop your tailbone, squeeze your booty. Stay here or join me for tiny pulses as you pull your arms down, down. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Eight. Use that breath. Four, two, one, and release your heels to the floor. If they're not already there. Airplane arms, stick in chair here. Toes are lifted, weights in your heels. Squeeze, release, engage, draw your arms in, squeeze your triceps with your ribs. Squeeze those ribs, good. Belly button's tucked in, tailbone's dropped. Where are your toes? Lick your toes. Squeeze your booty. Three, two, one. Flip your palms, tricep extension. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, Eight more. It's crazy. It's like so loud. Everybody's doing yard work today. Fitting's getting ice. It's all good. That's life, right? Two, one. Tiny pulses back, back. Squeeze, squeeze, back, back. Are you thirsty, babes? Four, three, two, one, and release, biceps by your ears, pinkies in, pulse back, back, squeeze, squeeze, eight, four, three, two, one, exhale, twist to the left, take a moment, look at your knees, realign your knees, engage your booty, toes are lifted, inhale, take it back up, hop, hop, squeeze, Squeeze, good, eight, four, three, two, one, release, twist. Check your knees again, square your hips, and then inhale, biceps by your ears. Last round with your arms up, up, squeeze, squeeze, good, eight, four, three, two, one, and release. Widen your stance, second position. Flat back, micro bend in your knees. 
arms out, thumbs up. Neutral neck, take your arms up, up. Toes are lifted, draw your belly button in, squeeze that booty, come on, up. Eight. Four, three, two, one. Now we go side to side. Lateral lunge, booty back. Side, side. Eight more. Four. Two. Last one. Back to neutral. Exhale down. Cougar squats. Weights in your heels, gaze comes with you. Option to always be here. Take it. Hup. Hup. Drop your booty for eight. Squeeze. Try your belly button in. Four more. Two. One. Pulse down. Down. Squeeze. Lift those toes for eight. Four, three, two, one. Option, we're gonna repeat those cougar squats. Option to lift your heels so that you're on the balls of your feet or stay down. If you want, get those to level up. Here we go, down, up, down, up. Take your gaze with you, neutral neck, eight. Four more. Two, one, pulse here, down, down, squeeze your booty, draw your belly button in, squeeze, squeeze, good, four, three, two, one, here we go, drop, remember your options, lift your heels, down, up, down, up, down, lift, eight more, use your breath, exhale into the work, Four more. Hello, quiver. Two, one, and release. Heel toes, heel toes. Slowly roll on up. March it out for a second. Draw your arms out in front of you, then exhale, twist to the left. Exhale, twist. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Eight. Hey babes, you got a chocolate face. <laughs> Last two. Other side, twist. So whenever the kids go to my sister's, she loves Nutella and makes them Nutella toast. And so since the coronavirus, I said, I want them to have like some little memories. So now we have COVID toast, which is Nutella toast. Last one, low V as you pivot on your foot. Low V with your arms, side to side. And Locke is like kind of sick of it by now. But Finley's like, give me that COVID toast. Yeah. Four more. Chocolate toast, two, one to the center. Twist, twist. But aunties are the best, right? So fun. Eight more. Four more, then we'll take our arms up high. Two, one, here we go, take it up. Reach, reach, lengthen, strengthen. Up, up, reach, reach for eight. Four more. Two. One. And release. Good. I hope you're feeling nice and warm. Grab some water, towel off if you need to. I'm gonna join you with some water here. What? Okay. Uh -huh. This whole morning, uh -huh. so when he put him outside, he pooped on the carpet. 
and everything. And he would have done it in here, but he knew he shouldn't. So he literally pooped on the carpet right outside of our door. He's so loyal. <laughs> Come here. Oh my gosh. Here, he's got to go outside, buddy. Yeah, I'll just Come here. Well, he pooped outside on the, the, mat. the mat, I guess, which is better than pooping inside. Hey, I'll take it, right? We're still potty training. He's like seven months old, so I think it's, we still got a ways, but that's progress. I'll, I'll take it. All right, so let's go round one. I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys. Join me because when the buzzer hits, then we can all jump at it together. The first one we're gonna do is mountain climbers. So you're gonna be in plank, shoulders over your wrist. You're gonna do mountain climbers four times each side. And then you're gonna come into down dog. And then back to mountain climbers. Hop. So the key is, these shoes always come on then. The key is with those, our, our brains always wanna start with our dominant side, right? So try to be intentional and start with your non-dominant side in those mountain climbers. All right, we wanna create more balance and that's certainly gonna help. And then the next one, we're gonna walk out so you'll have your feet under your hips and then bend your knees as you come towards the floor. Walk out into plank, option to drop your knees, push up, and then you're gonna come back, walk your hands back in. You can always skip that push up too if you want. And you're gonna go side to side here or regular jack or progression flying jack. So you do you, whatever works for you. Um, I think he's still sleeping, babe. Yep. And then the last one, we're gonna have hands in prayer. Toes are lifted, you're gonna pulse down. Three, two, one. Option one, modification, alternate hammy curl or progression. One, two, three, heel kick. Three, two, one heel kick. You do you. Whatever works for you today, meet yourself where you are. Physiologically, everything, depending on the day, our water, our food, our sleep, right? Depends on where we're gonna be that day. So listen to your body, meet yourself where you are so you can be here tomorrow. I'm gonna hit that 10 second setup. Let's get after it. All right, we got 10 seconds. Let's set up for our mountain climbers. Shoulders over your wrists. You can do these fast or slow, whatever works for your body. After four on each side, stretch back, downward facing dog, back down, squeeze your booty, mountain climbers. Wide fingers with your base, belly button tucked in. Try to start with that non-dominant side. Yes, you can. If you forget, just try again the next time. No big deal. And release, active rest. Keep moving, three seconds, set up. Let's do it. Quality over quantity. Notice your form. Active rest here. Shake out those wrists if you need to. Three seconds, set up. Wide fingers or mountain climbers. And back into downward facing dog, draw your belly button in. Plank, squeeze your glutes, four mountain climbers. Come on. Active rest, side to side. Keep moving, keep breathing. Three seconds, set up. Here we go, Hup. Last one, make it count.
active rest. All right, taking it to those walkouts. Option for a push-up, walk in, your version of a jack. Let's do it. Wherever you are, when you walk out, shoulders over your wrists, inhale down, exhale, push up. Bent knees, as you walk it out, walk it in. Squeeze your booty. You know I'm gonna say it. In that push up, squeeze your booty. Engage that pelvic floor, three seconds. Let's hit it. Flying jack if you want to pick it up. Modification here too. Active rest. Side to side. Three seconds. Set up. Let's hit it. Getting stronger today, Monday. Come on. You got it. Release. Active rest. Keep moving. Three seconds. Let's do it. Use that breath. Exhale, 
as you click. Three, two, one. What are you guys doing? Come on. Round one is through. Bam. Great job, you guys. Grab some water. Woo. Keep moving. Oh, yeah.
extension. Alternate which side you're starting with. Slow and controlled. You got it. And release. Good. Active rest.
Get me stronger. Less injury prone. Set up. Here we go. Squeeze that booty. Yes, you know I'm gonna say it. Lift up, draw your belly button in. Flex, squeeze, hammy curl. Come on. Good work, Monday. Get it done. Active rest, flip it over. Three seconds. Let's do it. Inhale, point, draw your belly button in, flex your foot, press back, squeeze your booty, hammy curl. Draw it in, inhale, exhale, squeeze. You got it, Monday, come on. Activity completed. Round two. Nice work, y'all. Boom. Grab some water. Towel off. Keep moving. Keep breathing. All right. Now, if you have a band for round three, we're going to use it. If not, you can skip it. We're going to start. Demo with me so you know exactly what's coming and you can just get after it. All right, we're going to start prone position on your tummy. You'll have your arms out into a T. Your thumbs are up, similar to what we do in our warm-up. You're going to squeeze your booty, draw your belly button in, Neck is neutral. You're going to lift up, squeeze your rhomboids together, and then down for the first 30 seconds. And the third 30 seconds, you're squeezing your booty, and you're only moving your upper body. For the second and fourth 30 seconds, you're going to take your chin to your hands, squeeze your booty. <laughs> of course, draw your belly button in. And then from here, you're going to lift out and in. Now you can do this without the band. It just creates some more resistance, right? So that's our first exercise. Our second one, you're going to flip it around. Draw your band up around the higher part of your thigh. Legs up the wall. Then you're going to drop one leg. Interlace your fingers around the other leg. Chin up, and you're going to pulse and crunch, so draw this leg up, extra resistance if you have it, and then chin towards the ceiling, crunch your shoulders up. We'll do all 30 seconds one side, all 30 seconds the other side. And then for the last time, for the last exercise, you're going to take your band around the arches of your feet, if you have the band. You're going to curl up like a ball, and then... Extend those legs. Stay lifted through the shoulders, airway open, chin towards the ceiling. So inhale in like a ball, exhale out. Option, you can do this without the band or you can do regular crunches. So do what works for you today in this moment because I want you here tomorrow, right? We gotta have consistency, that's where changes are made. Lean into that discomfort and keep on showing up for yourself. Okay, I'm going to hit that 10 second setup and we'll get after round three. All right, band around your ankles and then you're going to flip it over. It's coming in hot. Three seconds. Squeeze your booty. Neutral neck. Lift lower. Squeeze your rhomboids. Your booty is squeezed the whole time, even though you're not lifting with your lower body. You're squeezing that booty.
Thumbs up. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze those rhomboids. Come on. Release. Chin to your hands. Squeeze your booty. Tuck your tailbone. Lift your legs. Here we go. Out and in. Option, you can pick it up. You can go out, 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 out. Or you can slow it down. Out and in. Wherever you are, you're squeezing that booty. Your neck is neutral. Your belly button's tucked in. You are getting stronger today. Come on, proud people. Live, love, lift that booty. Yes. And release. Windshield wipers. Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, set up. Arms back out. Let's hit it. Squeeze your booty, even though your lower body's not moving. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, down. into the work. Exhale as you exercise. Exhale as you're working. Come on. And release. Good. Flip it around. All right. Band up. On the higher part of your thighs. Legs up the wall. You're going to drop that one leg. Now you're pulsing with your chin towards the ceiling. You can bend this knee if it's too much. Do what works for you. You're showing up for yourself. You're getting it done, Monday. Good for you. We are here. We are breathing. We are getting stronger. And release. Good. Set up. Second side, here we go. Pulse up, up, squeeze, squeeze, hup, hup. Keep breathing, keep pushing, keep crunching. Come on. Yes, you can. Let's hit it. Squeeze, squeeze, hug, hug. Squeeze, engage. Yes, you can. You're almost there. Come on, abs. Breathe. Activating those muscles today.
a nice flat back. Option to keep your head on the mat, or you can lift your shoulders up off the mat. Just keep your airway open if you lift up. Active rest, just for a second. Three seconds. It's coming in hot. Let's do it. Squeeze in, and exhale, push out. Feel that quiver, those abs. Squeeze, extend. Maybe rock side to side. Oh, a little back massage is always called for. All right, let's do it. Squeeze in, extend out, draw your belly button in, squeeze your booty, of course. Draw it in, extend, squeeze. Let's do this. Squeeze. Extend. Draw that belly button in. Back to it. Squeeze like a ball. Lengthen. Round three, we wrapped it up. Bam, great job. Grab some water, towel off if you need to. And then we will cool down and breathe. Stretch, we earned it. It's like our sweet treat. Take some breaths together. Inhale, arms reach up. Big open mouth exhale like you're fogging up a mirror. Good. Two more. One more. Cross your thumbs. Keep your index fingers out and then interlace the rest of your fingers. Keep your feet parallel. Draw your biceps by your ears. Squeeze your booty as you lift your heels. Press the balls of your feet into the earth, into your mat. Lengthen biceps by your ears. Reach your fingers through the ceiling. Squeeze and lengthen the whole time you're here. Try to squeeze, lengthen at the same time. Reach, 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 and squeeze. And then slowly release your heels to the floor. And exhale, swan dive down. From here, let your head hang heavy like a bowling ball. Take your pinkies to your elbows. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head maybe. Because we don't always have the answers. And that's okay. Most of the time, there's not much we truly do control, right? A lot of it's an illusion, but some things we can. Bring your palms to the mat, step or jump back. Like this self-care routine, right? We can make sure we're showing up for ourselves that way. Squeeze your booty, shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, lengthen, press forward slightly, and then exhale, press back through your palms, heels to the mat. Start to bend and extend one or both legs. On 
your next inhale, lift your right leg high, and then exhale through for pigeon. Inhale, open your chest, and then exhale, sink down into sleeping pigeon. Start to feel yourself calm, connect with your breath, your surroundings. Breathe into any tightness. On your next inhale, press your palms into the mat, flip your back toe, lift up, three-legged dog, bend your knee, and start to move your ankle in either direction. Inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift, left leg high, and then exhale through for pigeon. Inhale, open your chest, and then exhale, sink down a little bit deeper. Continue to come inward, slow down, breathe into any tightness. Next, inhale, press your palms to the mat, flip your back toe, lift up three-legged dog, exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, rotate your ankle in either direction. Inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet, allow your belly to rest, heavy on your quads, thighs, for a nice low back stretch. Either stay here or join me in Malasana. Your elbows on the inside of your knees, sit up nice and tall. Your toes are lifted, weight is still in your heels. Option, you can always be up higher. You can still be resting your belly on your thighs. Or child's pose is always an option too. And then from here, let's practice our crow. You'll have wide fingers. You're going to press through the outside of your hands, those L, the L shape. And then, oh, I already fed him, buddy. How about this? I'll feed him the second part of the day because it's one of my tools. Okay. And then from here, you're going to draw your elbows towards, the, towards you so that the lines in your arms are facing forward. This is going to give you a better ledge for your knees to rest on your triceps versus out here. And then from here, you'll start to bend your elbows, press into the L's of your palms, wide fingers. Your gaze is going to be up. Once you're here, you can start to play with lifting each toe and then maybe both toes. Remember the Probably the most critical piece is to keep your gaze up because the minute you tuck your chin, you're going to roll, which is fine. It's fun, <laughs> but um, I've done it so many times. But just remember that when your gaze is up, it's going to create that counterbalance to keep, you in, to keep you in crow. So wherever you are, you can play with this pose. And when you're ready, you can roll up. Maybe take a couple of shoulder rolls. Okay, maybe forward and backward. Good job. <laughs> and then take your arms out into a T. Squeeze your booty. And then shift your weight to the right. And reach for your left heel. Draw your knees together. Squeeze your glutes. Find a drishti, a focus point that's not moving. You can always use a chair for assistance too. And then open up your hip flexor and your quads just by squeezing your glutes. Which will draw your belly button in. 
stronger, core stronger canister. That's what we want. Release your foot to the floor. You're gonna have a micro bend and a deep bend. Hips are square, lengthen, and then hinge forward. Option to dorsiflex and flex that, flex that ankle. Keep your belly button drawn in, working against gravity. And then press through your back heel, lift up. Left foot behind right, reach up and over. Nice side body stretch. And release, feet together. Shift your weight to the left, reach for your right foot. Knees meet, squeeze your booty, lengthen that hip flexor, draw your belly button in. Open up your quad and breathe. Breathe as you squeeze. Release your foot to the floor. Micro bend, deep bend. Railroad tracks. Hinge at your hips. Long spine. Bend and extend your foot. And then when you're ready, press back with your back heel. Right behind, left. Reach up and over, side body stretch, lengthen. And release. <laughs> Interlace your fingers around. Squeeze your booty wherever you are, chin to chest. And release, interlace behind you. Open your chest, press down, squeeze your booty. Engage that core. Remember to practice squeezing your booty throughout the day. I want you to hear me in your, in your head. Squeeze your booty as you're doing your daily tasks. Whether you're working at the computer, squeeze your booty. Brushing your teeth, squeeze your booty. Putting dishes away, watching a show. Practice engaging your core and breathing. Release your hands, press down with your left palm, let your chin fall to the right. Squeeze your booty. Engage that canister, that core, that transverse abdominis, obliques, pelvic floor, low back, glutes. Enjoy that nice scaling stretch. Back through the center, press down. Right side, chin falls to the left. And release. Let's take another big breath. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, push your lips. Nice slow exhale to calm our central nervous system. Go ahead and grab a pillow if you have one, or if you like to sit flat on your mat or the carpet, wherever you are, or stay standing. Some people like to meditate standing. So do what works for you today in your body, and I'll do what works for me, and then we'll do it together, right? Okay. <sighs> wherever you are, Find a position that brings you ease and comfort and feels soothing to your body. You can sit up nice and tall. You can slouch a bit. Just find yourself in a space that brings you comfort. Rest your hands face up on your knees. If you're looking for energy, and then palms face down if you're looking to feel a little more grounded today. Depending on where you are physiologically and emotionally, tap into that mind-body awareness. And then start to breathe naturally, a natural nourishing breath. Inhale and exhale. Soften your gaze, 
Even close your eyes if that feels nice. The body and the breath are your anchor in this practice. As your mind continues to have thoughts and wander, that's okay. Just acknowledge those thoughts. Maybe label them. Just remind yourself you can tend to them later. For now, you're gently coming back to the breath, the sensations as your body, in your body. Start to notice your legs feel heavy and warm. Allow your belly to be soft and relaxed. Allow your arms to feel heavy and warm. And allow your solar plexus to feel at ease and calm. Release any tension or tightness in your shoulders or chest or traps. Soften your jaw. Let your eyeballs feel heavy in their sockets. your mind to feel clear and calm. Continue with your breath. And perhaps set an intention for today, for this moment, this hour, this day, this week. Something you can come back to. If you start to feel ungrounded or uncentered. you're ready, start to bring awareness back into your body. Start to wiggle your toes, your fingertips. Start to open your eyes. If you haven't already, maybe move your shoulders, your neck, and start to come back into your present reality, your moment, your home. And show a moment of gratitude for making time for this practice today, this workout, for doing self-care, for your mind, body, and spirit, for getting, it at, getting after it this Monday. And then let's all take a big breath together. Inhale, arms reach up, open mouth, exhale. Thank you for joining me Monday through Friday at 8.30 Mountain Standard Time for these imperfect workouts, for our imperfect lives, um, but those, so that we can support each other and stay healthy and strong and keep growing, um, leaning into the discomfort in, in every facet of our lives, right? Um, so I appreciate you joining me. Please keep your questions, comments coming. I love hearing from you. Um, thank you for your support and your donations through Venmo. This community is just amazing. I love all the uplifting messages and just being connected with you guys. So thanks for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.